If you've been following this series of videos, you know that we've been from Cheltenham and we've done all of those. We've been to Kingham and we're coming down this bit. And now on the map we're at Foss Cross. And talking of maps, I found a purveyor of very old maps. These people. I hope this doesn't breach any uh, YouTube code of conduct. I've got no affiliation to them. Uh, they're in Tewsbury in Gloucestershire. If you want a specific map then just phone up and ask to speak to Graham because he knows what they've got and where it is. Failing that you're welcome to just call in. I got this for a quid and the beauty of it of course is that the map is so old that the railway was actually running at the time and so it gives you the exact location of the station which means that we stand a pretty good chance of finding it assuming of course we can get access. This I believe is the access road. It's lined by pines which this railway seemed to uh, favour for some reason. Heads down there. Let's go have a look. There's a tarmac road surface here look. Not many farmers invest in that so it's looking promising. Sit amongst the pines. Welcome to Foss Cross Station. Building there, just off the end of the. Hey, up, hey, up, hey, up, hey, up, hey, up, hey, up, hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, wow! Building there, just off the end of the platform. Gotta be railway. It's an office or a storeroom of sorts. Still got some drums down there. Nice view. Remains of the door still in place. And the large concrete slab. Hmm. Nice beveled edge on the uh, shelf there, look. That's a great railway, isn't it? Pride in the job. And a lead line shelf there. That could be for trimming wicks and things for the various lanterns. Quite possible, I would think. Is that where the storekeeper used to hang his coat? The rails would have come from that direction, on down there, next to the platform. Right along there. I saw a photograph of this, allegedly from five years ago, and there weren't any trees. That was a bit more substantial than five years growth to me. Nice bit of platform there. I wonder how many people waited on there for their train in all weathers. Bit of collapse here and you can see the size of the edging uh, blocks there to the platform. That's pretty damn big. Hidden in there, the station building, which is quite rare. And here it is, the station building. So first, I think, sitting on a stone plinth and then red brick. Post here off to the side. Lantern. Look at the lovely beveled edges on the lintel there and the doorway. Workmanship. Gorgeous. There's a lovely bevel there at the uh, Seal there, look. A couple of brackets in the wall. Might be able to see what uh, they were supporting. Right, we can actually gain access. Not sure I want to, but. The old, old station. Once the roof goes, it'll deteriorate very quickly from there. Put the door down that end. 
the exit's bricked up now. Look, but you can see the fan light above the door, and there is the Great Western Railway doorway, complete with its mortise lock. What happened to the key for that, I wonder? Some original paintwork here, sort of a cream, and whatever that is. There's some, some behind the door as well, look. That's coming down to like a brownie colour, I think. Another fan light in there, doing its job too, letting the light in. This door's in situ. They've bricked up the outside but left the door with a very important looking lock on this one. Would this be the station master's office? And then look what somebody's left us here. Is that a ticket stub? We don't know who left the photographs, but we're eternally grateful to you. An amazing find. And in this dank corner, are what I thought were some bins. Turns out, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the gentry you I know. Sorry about that. Brilliant. I think you'll agree. Totally amazing. The station was actually closed to passengers in 1957 when they built a station in Chedworth. Up till then this was the Chedworth station, a mile and a half away from the village. And considering that the uh, railway actually ran through the centre of the village, the villagers were not best pleased. And eventually the railway relented and built them their own station in Chedworth. Out of the doorway. Looking at the platform edge. Right there. A lump of concrete there on the wall. Wonder what uh, job that performed. Just outside the door, look, some more brackets and a nail here. Purpose unknown, but probably to hold a sign or a notice board of some sort. It's a bent nail up there, which might have been the upper fixing. The platform extends on down there, so I suppose we should as well. Uh, in the photograph I've seen, there are buildings here, but this looks like being the only one left. Can have a look. It's all right, a few lots out there watching. I've got shorts on. Not conducive to this kind of thing. My own stupid fault, I'll grant you that. Here's our station in all its glory. If you look closely, look, you can see the notice boards there attached to the wall. We found the brackets for those. That's the signal box, still on the uh, platform. No trace of that, I'm afraid. Or this uh, rather fine tin shed. It was certainly a station in a beautiful location. The platform extends along here. And I was expecting to find foundations or something in this part. But um, either they're covered up or they don't exist. There are various dips and hollows, but that seems to be about it. Don't know if you can see them. Beautiful little flowers there. When you think of the effort the good Lord went to to make that. And here it is, hidden from view. This is where the platform ends in, the dips down. Crossing there, I would have thought looking back up the platform. Although the railway had a short passenger life, it's actually quite a vibrant freight uh, line, including its own siding for a quarry, a local quarry. So it actually did quite well, even after passengers had all left. 
fallen soldier, complete with a few strands of wire still poking out the holes. Look, that's looking down the line towards Chedworth. If we pan slowly over here, there's a structure of plinth. Would that have been for the signal box? To look at the photograph to find out. It's right opposite the far end of the platform. Oh, I think that's probably a bit too romantic. I'm going for it being a loading dock, which means there would have been a spur off down there. Loading dock just peeking through on our right then, and panning left, you can see there through the trees the old platform. It gives you an idea of the width of the track here. Obviously not just a passing loop, then they had freight sidings as well. So here's a photograph taken from very near where we are now. And it shows our station on the left, a centre platform which has been grubbed out for some reason. Here's our station. There's our little uh, tin shed on the end of it there. Here you have the freight sidings and there's our concrete block. So it is actually a freight loading area. Now, why would you grub out the centre platform and leave the rest? Mystery. That's a site I shall remember for a while. Foss Cross Station. Wonderful. Half an hour with a machete would give us some better shots, but uh, this is the way it is. Served its life, now disappearing into the surrounding countryside. And what beautiful countryside it is! Right, we'll keep sniffing around and see what else we can dig up. On the near edge of the platform, the platform goes down, over the back there, there's a concrete plinth. Can you make it out? I'd like to think it's the signal box, but revisiting the photograph, no, it's standing too far back. The whole area is on a slight embankment, just raised above ground level. And that's looking down through the station complex. We're now walking beside the railway to make better progress. So we can get to road bridge. And what we're walking on now, as you can see, has a tarmac surface. And is the access road for the freight, I would think. Looking left through the trees, I hope you can make it out. The railway's formed quite a large embankment now. It's right up here as far as there look. So I reckon it's uh, raising itself up for a road bridge, don't you? I think the line of trees out there denotes a road, path, track. Yeah, there she is. Look at the work involved here, look. Alternate uh, coloured uh, bricks, blue engineering, and then just red clay bricks. Out here, absolutely middle of nowhere. That's just pride in your work, isn't it? Although there, look, the soft stone has let them down, crumbled away. Structure, structure is still standing there. All those years ago something would have gone flying and rumbling over there. Disappearing to Chedworth in that direction. A really beautiful stone lined embankment. There it is. Right, we'll go back to the station then and have a look around south. Just before we go look. There's the station yard gate in there. That's not opened or closed in a day or two. Ah, 
at this point we appear to have uh, reached the point where the tracks narrow down and disappear on their single track. I think it was single track, not double. So around us, all around us here would have been sidings for freight and what have you. And then down there we're off on our journey again. Still on this uh, kind of road. Heading south now away from Fosbridge. The line passes through some rather pretty countryside. In its day you would have been able to see it because this would have been cleared. We're making steady progress. Till we get to here, which is quarry disused. The line actually served two quarries. One north, one south. I have to say, access didn't look very hopeful. Regrettably, it's going to remain unvisited as well. Can't get through. It was quite big in its day because it had its own siding. But uh, we're going to have to give that one up, aren't we? Sorry about the quarry. I'd like to let you guys down, but sometimes you can only do what you can do. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, go to my channel, Parkinson's Walks, click on videos, and there's 60 odd videos there to date. Keep you amused, let me know what you think. Catch you on the next one.